guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing another story time video with you all because I think a lot of you guys actually kind of like them. I told you guys in my previous story time about how my ex-boyfriend cheated on me, the one who was deployed. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked up here for you guys. The same guy convinced me to invest money that I had made on my deployment into a company that ended up being a total complete fucking scam. So when I tell you guys like I was pissed the fuck off about this like not only did this bastard cheat on me he freaking helped me waste my fucking money. So when it all comes down to it it is my fault because I didn't do I mean, I did research though, but I just trusted people. You can't trust anybody in the world that we live in today, which is just pathetic. My ex-boyfriend had been dealing with this company that did stocks and trades. And I honestly had looked into investing my money while I was deployed. I looked into IRAs, which is what I should have done. And I looked into um, like Edward Jones and stuff to just try and figure out what I would like to invest my money in and what was the best option for me. Well, I kept going back to the fact that my boyfriend had kept posting these pictures on Instagram about all of this money that he had made from a company he invested in. And it's like you were supposed to invest five grand in this company and then they would in turn buy properties and then flip them around and sell them and then the money would be distributed evenly to everyone that was in involved with this company. It's just something fucking weird like that. I'm not, I'm not intelligent enough for the stocks and trades and all the shiznaz that was going on with the whole situation, but I did call and talk to the guy that was in charge of it to try and see if I could understand it. But when I see like one of my, not only my boyfriend, but like my peer, a fellow soldier, somebody who seems to know what they're doing about it. And when I would ask questions, like they had an answer, they sounded like they knew what was going on. So, I ended up not investing the full 5000 I I did an amount lower than that, but I put my money into this company, and my thing is, is if I give somebody money, you best believe my ass is going to be checking on that money every single day of my life. Like, I'm going to make sure that I'm talking to the person, bringing it up, just making sure that things are going right, if you know what I'm saying. So... I would contact this guy every day. I could tell he was just kind of getting annoyed with me, but I'm like, you took money of mine and you're supposed to be doing something with it to help me out. So I'm obviously going to check on it. So I went to contact him one day and didn't get a response. Actually, when I, I messaged him through Facebook because I tried to just use different modes of communication just so it didn't look like the only reason I was talking to him was about my money, which low key, that's what the fuck it was. But I messaged him on Facebook and Facebook sent me a message back telling me that messages weren't allowed to be sent to him anymore. And I was like, that's kind of strange. So then I look up the Facebook page for this company and it was nowhere to be found. Okay. And then I ended up texting him got no response. I called literally every like 30 minutes and he never responded. Finally, like at midnight that night, I got a text message from him explaining that something was going on with the company and that he had been informed by his lawyers that he wasn't allowed to communicate with any of the people he had done any business with, aka my ass. And I'm like, this is a week after I gave you this money. I was like, when do I get my stuff in the mail? Like, when do I get my contract? All of this stuff. And he just was like, we'll get it to you soon, whatever. Well, when I finally got the package, it was literally all just like thrown in a box. The contract wasn't signed by him or anything. And I'm like, okay, so like, that was dumb on my part for not having had a contract in hand and read through it before just giving him the money. But the thing of it is, is this man and his wife both, I thought, were in the military at the time. They were advertising themselves that they were in the military. I went through his Facebook page. They were both very high ranking. I just assume that if you are in the military, you possess the army values. And... That is why I put my trust into this person. Not only that, but he told me how he went around from base to base doing classes on investments and stocks and all of this stuff so that soldiers could be aware of ways to use their money to make more money. 
And he also told me that he was being flown to like Afghanistan and stuff. And that's why he usually tended to soldiers that were deployed. And I, at the time, the only concern that I had was like, who's paying for this? Like, who's paying for you to just up and fly to Afghanistan, you know? So... I just said, you know, like you guys are just sitting in the damn room with me. He even volunteered to come and do a class at my unit. And I'm so glad that I didn't put myself through that at all because that would have been hella embarrassing. He ended up just giving me the runaround. So when he told me that he couldn't talk to me anymore, his exact response was, everything that you need to know about the situation is on Google. Just Google me. Okay, so I googled the situation and pretty much what had happened is like the FCC or the FC some FC, whatever the fuck it is, if they had put out this thing on the internet taking him to court for scamming military service members into giving him money with the intentions of him using it to buy stocks and bonds and flipping it around, it ended up being that he was pretty much just scamming soldiers for their money. And I was like, what the fuck? So he ended up having a court date. I made sure to follow up and look at all the court documents. If you guys want to look all this stuff up, this is his name right here. You guys can Google it and read through the information. What type of sick ass motherfucker does this? And you were in the military. Like, I found out because I called the, the phone number that's at the bottom of all the court documents. I found out from them that my name was not actually even in like his system as having been contracted with him so like he knowingly like knew all this stuff was happening and still allowed me to like get involved with the situation like nothing official had happened but he knew that something was going on and he still took my money so i wasn't even on the record of like when they pay the people back for all of this I wasn't even on the record to have it paid back to me because I wasn't showing up as a client of his at, at all. And I had to tell them, so they put my name like on the list of people who needed repaid. The guy actually told me that when situations like this happen, you don't get your money fully back, if at all. I hope this bastard goes to prison. Like, I hope you go to prison. So then on top of all of that, I've been calling about every three months to like check in on it and see where it's at. Pretty much it's just he's been to court, the money has to be paid back, and there's nothing else that really can be done about it. So I'm just like sitting here waiting, hoping to hear something. I made the fucking biggest mistake of my life ever, like trusting anyone. And that I can say is one of the biggest learning experiences that I've had. Not only did I put my faith into somebody else, I earned that money. I worked my ass off in Afghanistan. I was away from my family. I earned all of that money myself. And when it comes down to it, you should always go with someone who's well known. I did go to Edward Jones and they looked up the company and they knew right off the bat from looking at their website that this whole entire thing was a scam. So not only was he good at scamming, he was good at manipulating and just knowing what to say to get soldiers to get involved with this company. He actually was like published in a magazine in Colleen, Texas for being like the number one business guy in that area and all this stuff. Like it's just crazy how much fraud was going on with this company. And he actually, I mean, when I would look through his Facebook page, there were pictures of new cars, new houses, new property, all this stuff. And it's like, bitch, you used our fucking money to buy all of this shit. Like, like karma's a bitch. It's going to come around and get you. So not only that, this whack ass ex-boyfriend of mine is also still friends with this motherfucker. And I'm like, how can you be friends with a person like that? It just shows you people's true colors. They're coming to light. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do another story time for y'all. I plan on doing more of them. I have tons of ideas. They're all